On our last episode of Big Easy Sailing, we noticed a major catastrophe waiting to happen. Our compression post was completely rotted out and needed to be replaced. Now that the emergency post repair was complete, we can return to the long list of projects waiting for us. Next up was the cockpit. It posed its own unique problems for us. Although there were no stickers to remove, there were many holes to fill, from very small pock marks and screw holes to large gauge and speaker sized ones. We wanted to make sure all possible points of water intrusion into our engine room were sealed and that all surfaces were clean and smooth before we primed and painted. So what I have in front of me here are four inch holes going all the way through the bulkhead. Um, when I first bought the boat, I didn't notice this because on the inside, there's a piece of plywood painted. And then on the outside, there was a bag here that had binoculars in it that they probably used for the ropes. So once I removed that, I saw these holes going all the way through. Surprisingly, there was no water damage to this wood that's under here. And I'm pretty happy about that. So what I'm, what I'm doing now, on the inside, I left the plywood, filled these holes in with foam that I just tore up half inch thick, shoved it in there. Then I put some Bondo glass to hold it, and it's good. These aren't going anywhere. Then on the inside, I went in there, removed the plywood, put another layer of filler, sanded it down, painted it, the inside's good. Now I'm on the outside, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take fiberglass mat and I'm gonna cut it into circles and I'm gonna fill that in. It's about a half inch that I need to fill in. And it's so windy today that I'm not gonna sand or anything. I'm just gonna kinda fill this in and get, get going, get a little further on this project. Um, I'm using this fiberglass resin, which is a poly, it's not as structurally strong or flexible as your um, epoxy resin. But all, I mean, I feel like epoxy resin is 120 a gallon. The stuff I'm using is 40 a gallon. And for just a cosmetic repair like this to keep the water out and make it look nice, I'm gonna be all right with what I'm using. three on this fiberglass is set up pretty good it's still pretty deep right here but other than that I'm happy with it so now it's time to get medieval start grinding and scraping and getting all these holes burred out then I'm gonna use some filler and smooth it out let it sit up and then we'll do some more sand and it'll be awesome
come on outside to remove the beehive and the pedestals. Because, holy moly, that's a pretty big beehive. <laughs> no wonder Sean didn't want to mess with it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there you go, guys. And he's allergic to bees and wasps, so I guess I'll be dealing with that. <laughs> Poor Sean. Let me make sure there's no climbing on it. Pretty safe, I think. Just in case, look at this towel. Holy. Ah! It's gone. <laughs> Like any true artist, Sean has no problem making a mess to create a work of art. Truthfully, I think he rather enjoys it. So, this is a standard size winch handle fitting. goes right in fits so the problem is that's the only winch that it fits out of the five that I have standard size winch handle not fitting will not go in no, not even close so and it does that to all of them This one, no bueno. Moving right along. This one, it kind of fits in the groove. But that's about as far as it gets. This one, no cigar. This one goes right in. No problem. So, everyone's saying that there's a standard size. This is a winch handle that was on the boat. And it kind of fits, but it's real gnarly. So what I'm gonna do is try to clean it up with the Dremel tool and get it to fit these other winches. But still, I'm, from my understanding, there's a standard key size for the winches, but these other ones are a different size than that, in my opinion. So if anyone knows anything, I'm having trouble finding information, let it be known. Otherwise, I'm gonna do this and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, this thing is ground down, I took a lot off of it, so this is the good winch, it just falls in this hole. So I got it to barely fit in there. And then I measured it with the tape measure and There's definitely a different size keyway, unless this needs to be filed down, which I doubt the metal could expand that much. We're talking about an eighth of an inch that I took off this thing, minimum. So, if someone knows the answer, this is your time to shine. Otherwise, I'm going to make this awesome or get new inches, one of the two. Sean finished up by cleaning, sanding, fairing, and sanding again, everything inside the cockpit, including the lazarettes and lids.
finally, it's my turn to work. Well, maybe on the next episode. Help us grow by liking and commenting below. Happy holidays, and thanks for watching.